Hi everybody, it's Eleanor from Grandma's In Law. Um, just reporting back to you. Uh, this afternoon I made for lunch um, roast pork and uh, yellow squash and onions. I uh, had that for lunch and with my lunch, and I'll share the recipe for the roast pork, I had some uh, Dreaming Tree red wine. Uh, this is a wine that I purchased, I think, at either at Costco or Aldi's for about, um, I'm thinking about $12, between $12 and $15, I guess it depends on where you get it. And the thing I liked about the Dreaming Tree is it's kind of like a Meritage. It has Merlot, Zinfandel, Petite Syrah, and uh, something called Tenet. I, had, I did, hadn't had that before. Um, it was very, very good. Uh, kind of light to medium and very soft finish. The taste was like uh, berries and cinnamon and kind of jam. Um, with some uh, earthiness to it, a little bit of earthiness, and um, but floral. It had some, um, you know, uh, when you got the nose, it kind of reminded me of roses and and um, berries kind of mixed together. So it was really delightful, and uh, it really went well with the roast pork. So what I do is so simple to make this. It's really, really a, a good recipe. So you take a uh, uh, roast uh, or a pork uh, butt or a pork shoulder, uh, put it in the crock pot, and so I cover it with salt, cover it with pepper, cover it with parsley. I put about a half a clove of uh, garlic in there, and I put one can of beer, and then from that can I also measure a can of white wine, any kind of white wine that you have, you know. Um, and then I put the lid on, and cook it on, it depends on how long I'm going to be going. If I'm going to be going all day, I cook it on low all day, or if uh, sometimes it just takes on high, maybe five or six hours. But when you open it up, another thing I've done with it is to put uh, pepperoncinos in there, those uh, little um, like Italian peppers in with the roast pork. But when you open it up, the fragrance, the smell, so then the pork is so tender, you just shred it with a fork and um, have sandwiches. Um, we usually like to uh, put um, uh, chopped cherry peppers or jalapenos in with it, but it's really the, the, the juice that it makes. It's kind of like that, what you're gonna, you know, wet the sandwiches with, unbelievably good. But like I said, the streaming tree went really well with it. Um, Cause it's kind of, it, you know, when I put the peppers on it, it's kind of tangy. And so this just kind of evened it out and uh, made it a most enjoyable lunch. All right, so hope you enjoyed that review and uh, we'll see you soon.